India's most secretive, most advancedly drawn or unmanned combat jet is getting ready for assembly and the production. India's DRDO, the Gatak or what was previously referred to as ARA, is perhaps a foremost secretive aircraft project of Indian government which is aimed to develop an unmanned sleet deep penetration strike bomber for the Indian soldiers or for the Indian Air Force. The design is predicted on flying wing concept, which may be a tailored and undefined fuselage concept. The new appearance made was during a lecture on UAV the aerodynamic shad about the fortnight ago, and therefore the craft is understood as the SIFT the sleet wing flying testbed and reassembles the Gatak UAV physically. According to the sources, the image is that the introduction of the Gatak scaled down prototype with its undercarriage. One of the models with flying wing shift is often seen, and therefore the Institute, the IIT Kanpur of India, is reportedly studying the viability of achieving lower radar, cross sections, and conducting wind tunnel tests making an important base for the future Indian aircraft projects with the aviation sector. The technologies related to the project are expected to be 100% indigenously developed or known as Make in India or Made in India. However, the controversies is still prevail over the power plant. In 2018, it had been reported that the prototype would be powered by the Russian NPO-736 MT turbojet. It is expected by the time the Gatak would be able to fly, India would have successfully developed its own engine called Kaveri and technologies related to it. The engine is going to be developed together with the French company Saffron, which also came as an offset clause with our failed deal. Other than IIT Kanpur of India, IIT Bombay has also collaborated for the design and the testing of their serpentine air intake duct also known as the S-duct inlet for the engine. The CATAC is a funded and sanctioned national defense project and can likely see a large-scale private sector participation going forward, given its many linkage with the India's AMC of the 5th generation fighter jet program. It also revealed that the small print of the connection between the IAT Kanpur and therefore the CATAC project back in 2018 itself. Currently, various nations are performing on the event of such aircraft with comparable roles of the sleet bombing and reconnaissance, including the Russian Sukhoi S-70 Okhotnik, which made its maiden flight in August of 2019. The similar projects also include British BAA system Tarnis, German-Spanish Eitz Barcada, American Boeing X-45, and Northrop Gunman. X-47B, French Dassault Neuron, Lockheed Martin's RQ-170, and therefore the Russian Mikhail Scott. So what do you think of India secretively building and assembling and planning and designing all the advance and the sleet of unmanned combat jet for the Indian Air Force and the Indian military? Can India outperform all the countries including US, Russia, and China in the unmanned combat jet program. India successfully test fired air to surface anti radar strike missile Rudram 1. And now India sends the Indian Navy to Ladakh to counter Chinese alongside China help Pakistan to build surface to air missile systems in the POK against India. Amid the rising tension with India along the LAC in Ladakh, India on Friday successfully tested a new indigenous air-launched missile called Rudram-1, which is designed to destroy a variety of enemy surveillance, communications, and radar targets on the ground after being fired from the Sukhoi 30 mk jets. The new generation anti-radiation missile Rudram-1 has a strike range from 100 to 200 kilometers depending on the altitude from which it is fired. 
the missile with a launch speed from Mach 0.6 to 2, twice the speed of sound, was tested from Sukai fighter jets against a target on the Long Wheeler Island off the coast of Orissa around 11.15 am Indian Standard Time. The Rudramon missile, which has an INS GPS navigation system with a passive homing head for the final attack, maneuvered towards the target based on the direction detected by the seeker and hit it with a pinpoint accuracy. All the mission objectives were successfully met, said a DRDW Indian scientist. Now China is helping Pakistan in installing surface-to-air missile system near the Pakistan-occupied Kashmir. With the dispute on the line of actual control between India and China only surging day by day, China has taken its military-to-military -military cooperation with Pakistan to the next tactical level. The intelligence report also suggests that China and the Pakistan are working towards better integration of their military against India. The construction is in full swing near Lasana Dok in POK for the installation of a surface-to-air missile system. A similar construction has also been reported on the Chinari in Jalong district and Chakodi in Haichin Bala district of the POK, as per the Indian intelligence report. China and Pakistan are working in a tandem for better integration of their forces and this year in June of 2020, Islamabad posted a senior army officer at the PLA headquarters in Beijing. India's Chief of Defense Staff General Bipin Rawat already warned Pakistan that India is capable of handling two-front battle. Issuing a stern warning to Pakistan, he further said, if Pakistan tries to take advantage of any threat developing along India's northern border, then it would suffer heavy losses. Earlier on the 9th October of 2020, an open source intelligence handle on the Twitter named the Tresfa revealed that a P-8I aircraft of Indian Navy was flying over the Himachal Pradesh, possibly headed towards Ladakh, where the India and China have been locked in a tense standoff for months. The P-8I comes equipped with the ANAPA-10 radar, which it makes a rating and described as a maritime, littoral, and overland surveillance radar. As it is clear from the description, the radar can be used to monitor ground movement and is capable of providing data in all weather conditions, both at the night and day. So what do you think of China and Pakistan teaming up against India on building surface to air missile system in the POK and India is sending its navy plane to counter China in the Ladakh region?